Hey everybody, welcome to the third edition of This Week in Sports. Um, this is becoming a weekly thing, getting into the flow of it here, but this week it's mostly about opinions, and um, that's where we're going to start with the Fab Five. Maybe you saw the documentary. I didn't, but I heard a lot about it. Apparently Jalen Rose called Grant Hill and Uncle Tom, and it's been taken in a lot of different ways. Now, I don't blame Jalen Rose. I don't blame anybody here. But I think what Jalen Rose is trying to say, trying to say, and I don't think critics should criticize him for this, he was basically saying that Duke will only recruit a certain type of person, and he wasn't necessarily calling Grant Hill an Uncle Tom. He was calling Duke a recruiter of only white players and black players who are obedient to white people. I think he has a valid point. I mean, Duke is a very, you know, proper school, and Michigan is not known as that, but it's also been known as Harvard of the West. Good education, good sports. So, I think Jalen Rose, a little bit better. He didn't get to go to the powerhouse school, Duke, because of the background he was coming from, and I think this is where it gets a little if he was how people are taking it. They're taking it as he's taking thing, something away from Grant Hill because he had a good background. He's saying that because he didn't come from a good background, he didn't get the opportunity to go to Duke. So a lot of misunderstanding there. Also a lot of misunderstanding in the NFL. Between the two sides, Demora Smith is really trying to get a deal done, but the NFL is just holding their ground and it doesn't seem like they want a season right now. And I'm blaming 100% most of the owners. Jeff Pash, this guy, from I've heard a couple interviews with him. He is a, I mean, with all due respect or with no due respect or whatever, he's an idiot. He is basically not open to anything that the owners are doing wrong, but the players are doing everything wrong. The players are saying, we don't want an 18-game season. The owners are going to do that for the fans. But if you talk to a player, I'll bet you that the reason he plays football is A, to do what he loves, B, to make a lot of money, C, to, um, to, you know, entertain the fans. And that's the third thing on the list. And it's just like, okay, so you're making all these rules, you're punishing James Harrison and guys for hurting people, and you want guys to stay healthy, so you're just going to add two more meaningful games? And I'm sick of hearing, well, the same, it'll be the same amount of games because it'll take from the preseason. Nobody plays 100% at the preseason. The preseason is a multi-team full pad workout clinic. It's not an actual game, I don't think. And so that takes away from practice time, puts into the NFL season, and it just, I think it screws up a lot of things. The players don't want it. I don't blame them. The only way this gets done is if there's a second bye week, and even still, it wouldn't be good because then there'd be two weeks in the middle of the season where fans wouldn't have football. First they put the Pro Bowl in front of the Super Bowl so half the good players aren't even going because they're in the Super Bowl. It's crazy. The NFL needs to get it together. Players need to go to Jerry Richardson, Jerry Jones, Bob Kraft, guys who are willing to listen unless they want to lock out because that's what the owners seem to want. Most of them do. We're going to go to facts here to end it. Um, my brackets are all busted. Nobody can say that theirs isn't except the 19 remaining people. Maybe it's less now that have all perfect picks except for one. But first it was Moorhead State versus Louisville. I did 10 brackets. I only had one with Moorhead State beating Louisville. I had Tennessee over Michigan too often. It's going to be interesting seeing Duke and Michigan after all the controversy with Rose and Hill, but I just, I, um, 
I picked the wrong upsets. And if you check out the Cinderella video, I was talking about all these Cinderella picks. You know, I was right. There's going to be a lot of upsets, but I didn't know where they were coming from. I'd St. John's in the final four. They went out in the first round because Gonzaga, you know, they lost to BYU, but they had a good game. Butler, I don't know if they'll ever be an easy out in the tournament. They just, I don't know what it is with them, but they really know how to get it done when it counts. Um, I just, I still can't understand that last foul by Pittsburgh. Once he gets the rebound, back off. It's a half court shot or a full court shot or two free throws. What would you rather have? What would you rather give him? I don't know. One seed should be smarter than that. Anyway, um, college basketball continues. Um, I have fulfilled my promise. I put out a little uh, info on what I think of the lockout. Horrible situation. You know, everybody says, oh, it's fine. I'll just follow college football. When September comes, you're going to miss it. There's no denying it. You are going to miss it. So, I certainly will. I hope they get a deal done. Um, but until next week, this week in sports is out.